I went to Great Ormond Street Hospital and I was looking after children with these very severe genetic diseases. They would either die from their disease or there were very limited treatment options. And it was at the very early stages of this field of gene therapy. And the fact that you could actually correct or cure an individual on the basis of their genetic information was to me, it almost felt like science fiction. Um, I'm Ali and this is... Teddy. This is Teddy <laughs> and this is Nala. Say hi. <laughs> Nala was obviously diagnosed with MLD at the age of two and a half. Um, by that point, um, she did have symptoms showing. The most important one being the fact that she'd, she was now struggling to walk. Metachromatic leukodystrophy, very, very devastating uh, condition where sadly children were born with this gene defect. And there's a, a, a breakdown of the neurons, the nerve cells in the brain. For Nala, two years after diagnosis, um, Obviously she can't walk, she can't talk, she can't move her body. She's now um, registered as blind. It's possibly one of the most rare but most horrendous diseases that I've ever heard of. Up until very recently, many, many of these conditions have had no treatments uh, available or very limited treatment options. So because it's genetic, after Nala was diagnosed, um, they brought Teddy in. We then got the, um, the news that Teddy also had, had the disease in, in her body as well. Because we now understand the reason for that condition, so we understand which gene is missing or not working, we have an opportunity to try and correct these conditions through what we call gene therapy. Nala was, was too far progressed. Um, so when Teddy was diagnosed, um, obviously she had all of the kind of tests done. So when she was eligible, obviously it was, you know, it was, it was brilliant that one of our daughters was eligible for this brand new treatment. So what we're able to do in MLD is we take out blood cells, blood stem cells, and in the laboratory, laboratories like this, we introduce a working copy of the gene into those blood cells. Those blood cells go back into the, into the patient. They traffic or they migrate into the brain, and now they supply that missing protein or enzyme to the nerve cells, and so they don't break down anymore. So we're preventing those nerve cells from dying, from breaking down. Do you want to sit on that chair here? And then will you be good? That chair. She doesn't stop talking from the second she wakes up. Just incredibly intelligent. Um, everyone mentions about her vocabulary. My school teachers can't believe what she's like. There was a lot of gross motor skills that she should have been hitting by a certain age. And Nala, we, we knew that she wasn't, whereas Teddy's like exceeded all of those. We have very um, specialized centers. Uh, that are able to uh, administer this treatment. So we have one centre in the UK at the moment at, uh, in Manchester Children's Hospital. The children come in and we have to take these blood stem cells, these blood cells from the, uh, from the child. When it was, you know, discussed that Teddy's stem cells would be removed and have this modification done to put the enzyme in that she's missing to be put back in her body, to then make her live, it's just, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's an amazing treatment. At this point, the children will come back into hospital. They get what's called conditioning or chemotherapy. And that, what that does is it makes space both in the bone marrow and in the brain for the new incoming cells. I think we did nine weeks isolated, just me and Teddy, so it was a long time. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Luckily, she did seal through most of it, which is typically Teddy. A lot of the funding has come from uh, the Medical Research Council and also other charitable sources. And so it just shows you the power of doing that kind of work and getting that funding to be able to now get to the point where you can uh, have these medicines, these gene therapy medicines uh, available for individuals. And I've also met a lot of the people that did um, develop the treatment, genuine nice people um, that you can tell really care about families and children. And it's not about, you know, money or anything like that. Um, they really do just want to make the world and lives of people better. Bye. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.